One morning in 1947 in the town of Roswell, New Mexico, a rancher named Mac Brazell found something unusual. It was a bunch of metallic sticks held together with tape, chunks of plastic, and foil reflectors. And because he was unable to identify the object, he called the sheriff. The sheriff then called the officials near the Army Air Force Base. Soldiers came and took away the unidentified object. Many believe it was a UFO crash. And because of this one incident, Roswell, New Mexico, became the home of aliens. Everywhere you go in this town, you will see an alien. Even the McDonald's is shaped like a UFO. I'm telling you, you won't go one place in this town and not see aliens. I've heard about this town for a long time and I've always wanted to visit it. And today is that day. I would say this is one of the weirdest towns in America just because of the fact that there's so many aliens. So in this video, we go to the town and spend the night there. <laughs> Aliens, here we come. Oh. This is so scary. We gotta keep going. What? What is it? We should have never went to Roswell. This is too scary. Too scary. I guess now we're in the jungle. Oh, what the? I see an alien behind that tree. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah! How is he in the jungle? I thought it was supposed to be in like the snow, but watch out behind you. Watch out behind you. How does he know English? He's talking English. This guy's fake alien. That's probably That's an cool. alien, so don't save him. He's good. What's he saying? Where's my dad? I think this is it, we gotta get out, we gotta get out. So after we were done walking through that, we wanted to see the McDonald's. Like I said earlier, this McDonald's is shaped as a UFO. It's one of the most unique McDonald's I've ever seen and they really feed into the alien idea. They have aliens outside, McDonald's characters and spaceships and astronaut outfits and basically aliens. Okay, we just got alien food. You gotta open it up and see what it's like. Dude. Oh That's my. So crazy. Alien? Oh, 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 it's so crazy that I don't even care who's looking. Everyone's got to see this alien food. Oh, you guys got to be shocked. Like, this is like, wow. Oh, <laughs> whoa. Oh my God, I feel like <laughs> After an hour eating, you will turn green. So you might want to slow down. We're not even in the UFO. We got to go there afterwards. But first we're going to eat, relax, and then go in there and become real aliens. This is Mr. Alien himself at McDonald's. He's right here and his arm fell off. We're now gonna enter the UFO. Let's get in there. Out of this world fries? Damn, they must be really good. I also like how they have the original like characters. You never see those people anymore. We got Purple Man Grimace, that's his name, in a Coca-Cola cup. And he's going through space and loving it. And then there's two others up there. You got Ronald McDonald himself and the astronaut. And uh, I don't know her name, but she's in a McFlurry cup. That's amazing. Now this part of the building is pretty cool, but it had a much cooler design way back in the day. I'll put a picture up. It is cool though, how they have like aliens everywhere. They just embrace it. It's great. After the McDonald's, we had to get some alien merchandise. We got alien poop oh, candy. Yeah. We're gonna be trying alien poop. We're in the town of aliens, so we have to try their poop. I mean, it's the only thing, crazy. really. You guys gotta wow, split. That's crazy. I don't know how it comes out like that. Exactly. But I mean, it's aliens. We don't know. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, it's so good. So you're eating their poop. <laughs> their poop tastes good? Yeah. Alien, can you poop more? We want more food. Poop, poop, poop. Get some! Oh, oh, he's out. Lab. He must have wiped. I gotta try some for myself. Tastes like poop. Mm. Oh. That's the part that I find interesting is that it's just a random town. It had one UFO sighting back in like 1947 and now aliens are everywhere. You almost have to come just to see how many weird alien stuff they have. And they certainly have a lot. Even the littlest of things you don't even notice. All the street lamps have alien eyeballs. This town <laughs> is just riddled with alien stuff. You don't even see it all. And here you have a Papa John's with alien on the windows. Obviously, it's just there to get people to come to the town, but I always love when towns have like a theme to them. And right next to the UFO McDonald's, Dunkin' Donuts got this big alien holding up the sign. What is that? And with that, the sun was going down and it was time to go to bed. But we had one special location to do that. And that would be none other than the Roswell Inn. Hopefully we don't find any aliens in here. I wonder what's gonna be in this room. Oh, 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 oh,
<laughs> you know what, actually, we're not babies. Get in there. Let's get in. Oh. And that's basically it. We went to bed, woke up, fail. <laughs> and left the town. I gotta say, really cool town. I enjoyed all the alien stuff and it has an interesting backstory to it. I recommend you come to this town and checking it out. That's it and I hope you enjoyed. Also, we had to come at night. It just looks way cooler. The lights are on it. It's great. There it is. Time to leave the McDonald's. Yeah. No aliens were seen. Oh